Sneaky, sneaky, Microsoft. Sneaky, sneaky. So today, Microsoft is able to do something that a lot of companies can't do nowadays, and that is keep a secret. So they have just unveiled their new foldable phone, the Microsoft Surface Duo. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best there. So Microsoft talked about a lot of new Surface products and things like that, but the one thing that really has me interested is this new foldable phone that's gonna be coming out in 2020. Yes, 2020, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So this is a foldable phone concept that's not like the Galaxy Fold or the Huawei Mate X. This is gonna be something that's utilizing two 5.6 inch screens that are connected together with this hinge that allows these screens to be folded back onto each other, or you can just fold it halfway and prop it up on your desk or your airplane tray, and now you can watch a movie on it without having to hold it or use a case that has a kickstand on it. So this hinge really allows it a lot more flexibility that you can get with like something like the Galaxy Fold, but what you notice is that because it's not just one single foldable display, it does have that hinge, you have a really big gap in the middle of it. And one thing Microsoft didn't show off in this unveiling is somebody actually just watching a video that's playing on both of the screens at the same time. And that's because it's not going to be enjoyable because you have that big gap in the middle. So if you didn't like the crease on the Galaxy Fold, you're really not gonna like this phone for watching video content. But I don't think that's what Microsoft is going for. They're going for a device that's great for productivity, for running multiple apps side by side to each other. So they want you to, to be able to have Instagram open and then also to maybe Microsoft Word open on the other screen. And instead of like just trying to give you a one big screen experience, which is more just like having your regular phone, but just on a bigger platform, Microsoft is really going for just those multitaskers. And if you haven't noticed, this phone is not running Windows Mobile, rest in peace, but it is going to be running Android. And Microsoft has partnered with Google to try to make sure this platform will run and fine on their device. And that's pretty much all we know about this phone because Microsoft didn't go over any of the other specs like the processor or the RAM or the storage or the battery life. And it does look like it does have at least one camera, but the camera is, is only gonna be on the inside on the displays. And that brings up an issue that I might have with this phone. And that's because when you take the phone out of your pocket, if you do have it closed up, you can't use it yet. You have to unfold it in order to use any aspect of this phone. Where on the Galaxy Fold, you do have that display that's on the outside, even though it's really small and tiny, at least you can just pull your phone out of your pocket and immediately start using it to take a quick phone call. And now when you think about a foldable phone, you're thinking about a device that's a mix between a phone and also a tablet. But what you have with the Fold and the Mate X are devices that kind of lean a little bit more towards the phone aspect, where it looks like this Surface Duo is gonna be leaning a little bit more towards being a, a smaller tablet that you can carry around with you. Which again, it's not a bad thing, no matter which way you look at it, it's just gonna be for a different audience. But one thing that's really going to be a big factor in the success of this product is going to be the release date. It's not coming out until the holiday season of 2020. So that's a long time from now for Microsoft to kind of keep the excitement up of this product. And then you already have the Galaxy Fold, which is out. People can buy that now. You got the Huawei Mate X that's going to be coming out soon. And then by that same time, you could have the second versions of the foldable phones coming from these companies being released around that same time frame. And also, too, Motorola is rumored to be working on a flip phone that has a foldable display. So it could be like a Motorola Razr that has that foldable display technology, which I am excited for because I was a big fan of the Razer, so that could be really cool. So Microsoft more than likely is gonna have some really stiff competition next year, but I'm not going to count Microsoft out at all. I'm actually rooting for the success of this phone because I'm a fan of foldable phones. I love the genre and I think they are going to be here to stay. So no matter what company is making them, no matter how they're making them, I can't wait to see more foldable phones hit the market. And because of the design that Microsoft is going for, they may have the advantage when it comes to durability over the Galaxy Fold and the Mate X and also to the price. It shouldn't be as expensive as those other options, so that may work in their favor. So anyway, these are just my thoughts on this new Microsoft Surface Duo. Leave your comment down below and let me know what you think about this phone. Also subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to. And like always, I do wanna thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.